Hi, Alex from Messy Painting here. Um, just with a quick tutorial video on how to do Nurgle tentacles and boils for Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Space Marines. Um, you probably know quite a lot of the techniques already, but yesterday I went to a green stuffing workshop type thing and <laughs> I just learnt these uh, new techniques and I wanted to share them with you. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the highly professional workstation. All I find you really need for green stuff sculpting is a sharp blade and a tool that has this kind of spatula shape at the end which is really good for you know patting things down shaping them and it's really useful so anyway the main uh, focus of this video are tentacles now i just learned how to make tentacles really well you kind of want to start them with a sort of wire base so a, uh, this is an unraveled paper clip, but you can just use normal wire. Um, I think it kind of works a bit better with a paper clip because they're a lot more flexible, and wires that are this flexible tend to be really thin and not very substantial. So, um, anyway, so this is going to be our base. You can see I've kind of already twisted it into a tentacle like shape, but all you really need to Users, you can use pliers like this to uh, twist it quite easily, or you can, in fact, just use your hands. Usually, it doesn't really take much effort, but it's good to have a bit of leverage. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to snip uh, the wire or the paper clip off uh, with bolt cutters or snippers or whatever you've got, but just leaving a bit kind of a bit of a straight bit and this will help when we uh, put it in hole on the model. So now we've got our tentacle shaped bit of wire. We will find a suitable model. I'll be back in a minute. I'm sure many of you will know that the reason super glue works is because of moisture and water. That's why if you breathe on super glue it dries much faster and I'm sure everyone has had the experience where their fingers are glued together. That's because of the water in your skin. So when I was sticking this guy's bit of wire onto him, I had an idea. I thought, well, what would make it dry the fastest? So a, a thing that you could do, which I've just experimented with, is when it's drying, run it under a tap, just a few drops on it. And what's happened is it dries almost instantly, it just hardens. And I suppose this would be especially useful if you were gonna do Nurgle slime, <laughs> because anything, anywhere that it is, just instantly hardens. So if there was a big trail of it coming from his arm to his leg, that would just harden. So that's quite a useful thing, I just realised. Anyway, to get back to this, you can you can drill a hole in him to put the uh, rod in, uh, if you have a drill, which I don't. And it works alright like this, I've just kind of put it in a crevice there, put plenty of soup glue and done what I've just described, and it seems to have worked alright. I still left it for a bit to dry, just to make sure. So, I've kind of... Uh, the one I did before as an example was a bit too big so I've redone a smaller one just kind of coming out from the side and uh, I think it looks alright at the moment but obviously that isn't the actual tentacle so uh, before I go any further I just want to say some of you might be noticing these are Chaos Space Marines not Necrons obviously most of you will be noticing that probably um, the reason is Tom sold these to me because in future I'm thinking I might do a Chaos Army and I really like the figs in Dark Vengeance, I think they're so detailed, which just goes to show that Finecast isn't all that it's set up to be. So I bought a few of these because he was throwing them out um, and I'm just going to save them, I'm not going to uh, do much with them at the moment but I've just been converting up some of the cultists. Uh, to look a bit more nurgly, especially since Tom left quite a few without arms or heads. <laughs> but 
yeah, Tom won't be doing any videos this week, by the way, because he's on holiday at the moment, so you're going to get extra Necrons, lucky you. Or possibly not, but we're, I'm still going to try and do two videos a week like we originally planned. So, just to say, Necrons will probably be every Friday normally, and I'm not sure at the moment what days Dark Angels will be on, but we're also, Tom's got a dark talent, so he's going to possibly do an unboxing video with that, for those of you who are interested in Dark Angels. Anyway, to get back to the subject, uh, so this looks alright at the moment, what we need to do is get our green stuff over here. Um, this isn't very neat green stuff to be honest. I prefer to cut it off, but just for time's sake I just ripped it off then. Um, with a knife I mean, obviously. Uh, so, bit of green stuff. I find that the easiest way to do it is just to kind of fold it down on itself, uh, making sure at the end that there are no uh, yellow or blue bits left in the mix. So, if there are, however, um, little tiny lumps, when you go to making the tentacles, they'll sort of, if they're on the surface, stand out a bit, and they may look a bit like sort of boils or blisters, which look a bit nergalish anyway. So, once you've got your uh, mixed green stuff with optional bits of yellow, um, it's worthy to note that blue is the hardening agent in this uh, most of you probably already know that but just in case you didn't so the more blue you put in the uh, faster the green stuff will harden now unfortunately water doesn't actually by putting water on the green stuff it doesn't actually uh, make it more liquid or make it dry more slowly one thing it does do, however, is make it much less sticky. So I've got a pot of water over here, I'm just going to dip it in. And already it's, if I just mix the water in a bit, it's much, much less sticky, which is a great advantage, as sculpting with sticky green stuff I found in the past is very hard, because whenever you try and pull your hands away, it just sticks to you. So anyway, we've got our guy here. What we do is, first we just kind of pull it out to the roughly the length we want. And what we do now is we just, if you can see, we just put it over the wire. If there's too much, we just kind of bunch it in on itself, like so. And then you just kind of wrap it round pushing it in all the time. So this is very easy to do, probably for all of you. Ah, I can just feel this bit of wire moving a bit, but um, it's alright. Anyway, now we get our kind of spatula ended tool, and at the end in here, we just kind of tuck it in, and also pull it out like this, so that it looks like it's part of the same thing so it kind of melds with whatever it's attached to which in this case is a bit of the back and a bit of the shoulder plate also we can use it to kind of tuck it under the jetpack here if you can see so it's kind of looks like it's going under the jetpack it's a very useful tool I'm using the Games Workshop one, but you can use just any. So, like so. Then this is looking extremely messy at the moment. We can just do this with our fingers, really. But it's slightly less good. That was a sentence. Um, so we just kind of mould it to a slightly evener length all the way around. We would usually just make it a bit thinner at the very end so it looks a bit more realistic tentacle.
and always just turn it around to the other side just to check. So at the moment you might have noticed it has lots and lots of sort of thumbnail marks, fingerprints, uh, all that sort of stuff, folds and creases. Now what we could do is, just at the moment, just get a normal brush, dip it in water and go over it and this, if the green stuff's quite uh, soft still, this can kind of brush away some of the smaller, some of the, well, very small marks and indentations. Just whenever it moves, just remember to tuck these bits back inside and smooth them down. If a bit comes away, that's just a sign that there's a bit too much, so actually that's good because you can just smooth it down a bit more. And any bits that come away, well, it just means that it's got so thin that they're coming away, and that means it's melded with the actual model quite well. So uh, you can also use this tool to sort of um, I won't do it with this one because it's quite loose, but to pat down and shape the uh, tentacle. So what I'm going to do now, just to fill in some of the bigger um, holes and ridges and so on, I'm just going to get a pot of liquid green stuff. Um, you don't have to use liquid green stuff, just other um, liquid putties are usable just any sort of liquid putty made by other companies or Citadel. So I'm getting quite a lot of my brush here. I'm not, yeah, messy painter, so I've just got it all over my brush bags. And, but what you do is you just sort of brush down. I haven't really got enough there. Brush down all over the uh, mini the tentacle and after a while you should see some of the um, you can see some of the creases are disappearing because after a while it'll just shift into the gaps slightly so I've got you can see I've got a bit too much on my brush there but who cares and also around the part where it joins to the model, you can also sort of do a bit of uh, the sort of melding process I was talking about. So it just fits in with the model a bit better. Looks like it's sort of part of it. So you can see quite a lot of the... Uh, um, cracks and stuff is this thing. Now we move on to boils. Yes, boils. Lovely, isn't it? So this is particularly nerglish, but I'm going to do it on the uh, shoulder pad of this marine. So remember to keep on uh, keeping the green stuff wet so it's not too sticky and um, roll it into three small spheres so like this they don't have to be perfectly round in fact it's a bit more nergly I suppose if they're not um, just I'm just going to arrange them in the symbol of nurgle but you can put them on anything really you can even put them on uh, tentacles themselves and they might look like uh, I don't know suckers or something so I'm actually just gonna put two here because the backpack's in the way of it and I don't think I'm gonna fit any more than that on so here are my two uh, blocks here and um, at the moment they're gonna stick pretty well I think 
they're not too wet. That's the other thing about putting water on them and making them less sticky. It doesn't actually, it's sometimes against you. So uh, the two sort of blobs, you need to get your, again, your sort of spatula tool. Um, what you're gonna do with this tool is you're gonna kind of do what we did with the um, uh, the tentacle and push them down around the edge so they kind of meld with the armor it doesn't really matter if because of this the armor plate is obscured by lots of kind of lumps and bumps made by these because after all in the end that might just look a bit like rust which is nerglish anyway so yes like this can you see that? It's already pre-focused. And the two kind of the lines of these things can will meet in the middle probably. And it doesn't really matter if the things haven't stuck very well because after this they'll um, be pretty well suctioned on although it'll make this a bit harder for me <laughs> so after all that we have our two sort of lumps like so and this is really simple that's basically the main step that looks quite sort of gruesome and well not gruesome exactly kind of rotten <laughs> already i suppose and you can just leave it at that that's a decent boil i suppose but another thing to do is get a sharp implement well a pointed implement uh, it can be a i'm just going to use a pick it can be a pen or even a bit of leftover wire and um just poke a hole in the middle of these things and now if you can imagine painting that with kind of goo oozing from the middle like the boils of burst or something that's a bit more gruesome obviously it doesn't look very good now because they're not painted but once they're painted they should be quite or well, very nerglish so that's the two main techniques for today, sorry that the um, uh, tentacle. Sorry, I forgot my words. Then okay. um, it took so long. That's right. Uh, so yeah, you can start to convert um, up a Nurgle army from normal Marines. And another thing is this liquid green stuff or whatever liquid putty you've got can also be applied to armour by kind of dabbing it like this and once that's painted up it should look, look a bit more textured like rust almost because it's sort of rough texture so that's also something to bear in mind anyway so that's just about it I'll leave some uh, pictures at the end uh, for you to see uh, these guys these other guys not the ones I've showed you are um, already fully converted apart from the guy on the far left who doesn't have any arms at the moment but I've, I've scratched both his head and his back and stuff got things on sorry this tutorial tips or whatever took a bit longer than I was expecting and Quite a lot of you I know will probably already know the techniques, but if you don't, please give them a go. If you're not even, if you're thinking of a Nurgle army, Tyranids or other things, basically anything can use these techniques. So thanks for watching, and this is Alex from Messy Painting signing out.